Hello, reformers, and welcome back to Prophecy of Pendor. Now, if you're looking for some good deals on games, you can actually check out the link in the description to G2A, and that will give you, well, I, I think some pretty good deals. I, I, I would I would recommend it anyway. So, yes, now, when we left off, it was a huge amount of time ago. I know a couple of you have been asking for Pendor quite often, in actual fact. Don't worry, I have seen your comments. However... The problem with Pendor right now is that we are kind of in a, so shall we say, stalemate. It's, it's not really a stalemate because we are technically making progress, but the main problem with it is that there are many, many things to do. And as a result of that, I'm actually going to be progressing a little bit off screen. It's going to be seeing how we can make more significant gains. And by that, I mean almost eliminating the Empire. I think we're probably going to try and do that off screen because obviously it's just going to be siege after siege, battle after battle. And, you know, that may get a little bit tiresome. So, yes, that's what we're going to be doing going forward. So, yes, I would not expect, please listen to this, I would not expect to see Pendor very often. Maybe once a week or something along those lines because I'm going to have to play a lot off screen. And I'm going to have to try and get a good amount of progression done. Now, as you can see right here, we do have the Fears Vein. Obviously, they do have Ethos. Absolutely insane amounts of units there. Really quite amazed at that. But for the most part, what we're going to do is we're actually going to head on in over here to, well, Maris Castle. None other than Maris Castle, because there are a bunch of prisoners there. I know in the previous episode I said, oh yes, we're going to go in and take Janos. But unfortunately with that, Janos is a little bit, yeah, it's not going to happen. You know why? Because we were injured from the previous battle on the fields of gruesome death with our Earl Grey Knights and, yes, yeah, as, as we are the Tea Time Troublemakers, of course. So, yes, we were injured and we couldn't actually go in there with ourselves. We couldn't actually go in there with Beartil the Tea Bringer. So, unfortunately, yeah, I had to go away, had to restore myself. And now we're back and we're back at Maris Castle, of course. So, we're going to be heading on in here. It is a ladder castle. Anson is just going to be insanely fast with his ladder building. And now we're going to head in here and see what's going on. Ooh, this is actually a, a pretty decent layout, I would have to say. Is it? Is it, a, is it a decent layout? I think it is. Okay, so what do we currently have here? Well, we, we're going to need to get our cavalry and infantry out the front. I told everyone to charge just so that they could get moving, basically, because I don't want them to just stand still, do we? No. No, not at all. So let's see what we can actually get going here with our archers. Let's see if we can just get them to stand a little bit closer to each other. And... Whoa! Oh, who, who, who's that? No! Tea and Biscuit Savior, get back here! That is Anson. Anson is doing his very best to eliminate everything there. Okay, so now we're going to tell our infantry and cavalry to charge in. Unfortunately, we lost a couple of companions there. Not the greatest thing to ever happen, is it? No, not at all. But we will hopefully be able to... No! Ah, oh, no, I'm taking way too much damage already. Way too much damage. Oh, yes, these guys... Of course, they do have Empire Armored Crossbowmen. They are the Empire after all, so... Yes, yeah, not surprised that they are going to be... Oh, very, very powerful indeed. Ouch. Okay, well, yeah, the, the good thing is we have everyone where we want them to be, basically. So, our crossbowmen are now going to be charging in, which is perfectly fine. We do have a couple of cavalry that are having some difficulties here. Or at least... Yes, they seem to be having quite the spot of bother there, which is really very irritating. When you see that and you really need their help, you're just like, ugh, yes, how, how monstrous of them just to be like, hmm, we're just going to chill out on the top of this hill here. Yeah, it's going to be absolutely fantastic, isn't it? No, ugh, absolutely terrible. So, otherwise, I think we're good. I think we're good. Yeah, I think we're going to be absolutely fine with taking basically everything down here. Unfortunately, they are spawning in many more crossbowmen. And I am, of course, dead, which is kind of sad, to be honest. I'm actually thinking of retreating and just coming back in here, even though we do have the advantage. I, I think I'm actually going to do that. I am going to do that because I really want to get some gameplay in here, because usually... You know what it's like. It's just like, hmm, I'm going to head on in here. I'm going to try and do as much damage as possible. And then in the end, I get taken out and it's all very disappointing. 
So, I'm hoping that I'll actually be able to do something here and maybe, just maybe, I'll get a little bit more of a favorable outcome from this siege. Wow. Okay, now that was... That was impressive. I was not anticipating my shield being destroyed so incredibly quickly. So I guess this is where I'm gonna just try and shadow, uh, shadow my shadow legion centurion people because I don't want to be going in there myself, do I? No, I don't want to be heading on in there and being like, oh yes, here I am, shoot me in the face like I was beforehand. So yes, don't particularly like my body being penetrated by huge amounts of crossbow bolts. Yeah, it's not very nice, is it? No, not not particularly. Okay, so this is where we get a little bit worried. Uh, are we going to get worried, though? No, I picked up one of this. No. Oh, no. Oh, no. Did I really do that? Did I really? Yeah, I think I did. Wait, where's my sword? Wait, do I have it? Oh, I still have it. Okay, that's good. Okay, so yes, unfortunately, I seem to have swapped something. I think my shield for another sword, which is very bad of me very, very bad of me, but at least I have... Oh, no! Oh, I'm terribly sorry. I'm terribly sorry. My, my thrown weapons are not exactly the best. So let's try and let's try and deal some damage to that guy. Yeah, there we go. And that one as well. That's a nice headshot. Yes. Can we get another headshot? No, but I can get a backstab, or technically a some sort of backstab sort of thing going on there. Uh, now, maybe we can take out this guy as well. Oh, no, no. The environment is fighting against us rather annoyingly. Okay, come on. Ah, I'm out of ammo. Oh, out of ammo, yes. Out of ammo. Okay, so this is where we're going to be adventurous. Oh, yes, here we go. Take that guy out, thank you. Yes, you have nothing against Berthold. He will bring tea to you whether you like it or not. And I'm not entirely sure, but I'm pretty sure they use tea in their names. The letter T? Oh, yes, the letter T, of course. Okay, so wait a minute. Do I have anything here? I don't have anything. I have no thrown weapons or anything, so we're going to have to be a little bit sneaky here. A little bit sneaky. Yeah, there's a little bit of a thrusting maneuver as well. Excellent. Okay, 13 is our lucky number, apparently. We're not going to die on kill 13. We're going to just try our very best and see what we can do here. Okay, so how are units doing? They're just kind of chilling out over there on the stairs. I'm a little bit worried that they're getting a bit stuck, but I think we should be okay. Uh, no. Oh, maybe. Maybe we'll be okay. Yes. Come on, block him. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so we need to take this guy out if we can. Oh, he's blocking me, of course. Of course he is. Now, we do have a commando unit over here doing their very best to eliminate all of the Empire Armored Crossbowmen. Oh, no, they actually did get taken out. That is unfortunate. Oh, no. Okay. Maybe I can take him out. Yes. There we go. Okay, now let's do our best. Oh, no. Ah, yeah. Ooh, close. Close. Very, very close. Oh, there we are. Okay, they're apparently just ignoring me now. This is excellent. This is very, very good. Okay, so anyone else? Anyone else want a piece of tea? Bringer. Mm, yes. Do they want a piece of tea, Bringer? I don't know whether they do. Well, we've eliminated a huge amount of them so far, and it appears that the battlements are completely free and clear of any enemy at all. Which is great. So I think I'm going to just jump on here. And we're going to be adventurous once more. And go over there to our comrades, compatriots, companions, and eliminate the enemy a little bit further. Here we go. Yeah, that was a very bad swing on my part. I really should have attacked from the other side, because his shield was obviously on the one side. And yes, doing it that way is, is a lot better, obviously. Ah, oh, Anson, how dare you? You tea and biscuit savior, how dare you get taken out? That is just, oh, absolutely preposterous, really. Just absolutely terrible right there. Okay, well, there it is. One enemy remains. He is quivering in his boots right now. And, well, not for long. Not for long. He was not quivering for long, that's for sure. But there it is. Knight of the Raven Spear has the honor of the final kill. And I will be... Ah, this is the thing. Do I want to take this guy prisoner or do I want to let him go? think I'm probably going to let him go because well, right now our wages are actually doing pretty well because the last week's wages gave us 11,000 no less, which is actually pretty good. So I'm hopeful that we'll be able to get a little bit more like that in the future. And wait a minute, do these followers level up? Yes, they do. Okay, so I'm going to be just keeping those. Is there anything else here that I really want? The squire is kind of good. 
but everything else can kind of be left by itself. So I, I'm not really, yeah, not really wanting anything else, to be honest. So let's just take some of this. Do I have any food? Yes, I still have some baggage trains there, which is great. So we should be absolutely fine. So who are we going to give this to? Well, that's the thing. Lord Roland, Lord Frederick. I think Lord Roland is probably going to get this one. And yes, there we are. That seems a little better. Okay, so Maris Castle, 85 Salian units there. Okay, so are we... Wait a minute. Are we okay? No, I think we do need to restore ourselves a little bit before we head on and bring tea to the unwashed masses of the Empire, of course. I wonder where those two vassals are going. Ah, they're just going to be raiding... Ema? Where, where, where is Ema? Oh, okay. I actually thought that that was close by here. I thought that it was this one, but no, that's Pagandur in actual fact. Okay, so, oh, there they are. They're running away from a snake cult army. Well, you're very effective, aren't you? Oh, yes. Not at all in actual fact, no. Okay, so they are actually giving me a peace agreement. I'm going to be rejecting that because we are going to be eliminating them very, very swiftly indeed. I am hoping... Because they were so incredibly vicious when we started our own faction, I am hoping that we will be able to just teach them a very, very valuable lesson, and that is not to backstab your friends, or the people, or, well, shall we say, people, person, that you respect and apparently like. So, yes, <laughs> that would have, ah, oh, yes, that's, that's kind of deep, isn't it? That's kind of deep. Okay, so... Let's head on to Oragar Castle. I have a feeling that we're probably going to be... Wait a minute. We need to level up these guys before we do anything else. There we are. For Maiden Adventurers as well. Absolutely fantastic. So, this is another ladder castle. I can't get any luckier here, apparently. And I am... Oh, I actually thought that we were going to get... Some defenders rallying outside, but no, apparently not. So we're just going to tell our units all to charge in here. Probably not the crossbowmen. Probably going to leave the crossbowmen a little bit, because I really do think that they can assist assist us a little bit better in a supportive role. But, well, that's the thing. Can you see anyone? I can see basically a couple of heads there, but not really anything to write home about in terms of exposure. So... Yes, I think we're I think we're okay, to be honest. Are we? Are we okay? I hope so. I very much hope that no. Oh no. Wow, that was that was not good. That was very much not good. Okay, so ooh, this is this is probably gonna end in tears. Yes, there we go. We we've ended it in tears, haven't we? Absolutely great absolutely great isn't it ah uh, okay well yes that's exactly the problem i found with pendor right now at least we are fighting against so many empire crossbow look at them look at them you can tell which ones are which by the shields on their backs of course and they are just insane the amounts of crossbowmen currently assaulting us is just oh monstrous monstrous things so uh, yes we're gonna see if we can actually get a couple of kills here and if we cannot, then of course, we're just going to have to try our best next time. But let's just see whether our units are able to get through their initial defenses. I have a bad feeling about this because, I mean, look at this. We are losing so many Shadow Legion Centurions. But that's the thing. We have to do this at some point anyway. It's just going to happen no matter whether we like to or not. So it's one of those situations where you're stuck between a rock and a hard place, basically. So, we're, we are actually getting through. We are actually getting through, but now they have just received reinforcements, so uh, that is uh, very disappointing indeed. We are in, though, which is great. Yeah, we are in. I think we will be victorious here. It is just a matter of whether our reinforcements are going to be quick or not, because obviously they have to run all the way over from that spawn point, which is just uh, terrible. And don't even look in the top left of the screen because seeing zero kills there makes me very very sad indeed because that would have been it would have been actually really nice to actually see that okay so I think I'm gonna be retreating here because I'd like to actually participate in the siege but what we're gonna do is we're gonna end this episode of here
And next time I'm gonna be participating in the siege a little bit, and obviously we're gonna do a little bit more off-screen, and I may actually call for a campaign, because I think it would be rather nice to get some assistance from our vassals for once. So, I thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.